Premier League Week 7 review, roundup, whatever you want to call it. Let's go, Bosch, we're back. And we're starting with Aston Villa with Brighton, 5th we 6th, what a game. Emery with the Zerbi, wow. a battle of the tactical coaches, probably the top two coaches outside of the elite clubs. I did not expect Roberto De Zerbi's Brighton to get spanked 6-1. I thought I'd right, lose, obviously, like I just said, they're Emery, right? So let's be real, bro. Good evening, top manager, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watkins, Hattrick. That's the second of the season, by the way. Does he deserve an England chance? Of course he deserves it. Not does he, he, he deserves it now. Mm. Not this Ivan Tony BS that, got, that you always bring up, and rightly so, that he's going to call him up to the squad and let's just uh, put him in the squad. Well, he needs to start in some friendlies. Yeah, maybe even a alongside Kane. He does need a chance. Yeah. He's been proving it since he's been in the Premier League. Rod's always going on about he wouldn't mind him at Arsenal and he actually said it to me in the car during the week. So. There you are, he put in a top performance and Villa. Jacob Ramsey, top again, player. another good performance in midfield. You know, it's Villa, right? I think we all expected when they bought Pau Torres, Moussa Diaby, the summer that they had, Emery, like I said, at the helm. But fifth so far after seven games. Good Lost start, Champions man. League spot right now. Do you think they can maintain it? So? No. All right. Don't Next. No, no, but European? Euro, yeah, Europa, they'll, Europa League. They could, they'll make one of the Europe, like either Europa or Conference. Are Brighton going to bounce back? It yeah, was another Thursday. Yeah, Sunday they played the best football in the league, man. They'll come back. It's going to be hard Thursday to Sunday. I've told you this. Yeah, that's it's what I'm saying. They're playing on Thursday now and then yeah, they're going to play yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It mean. depends how far they go in the comp. If they go far, then. Ah, it'll right. Them. So, it'll obviously, them, I, to me, I, I wouldn't say it's a shock result of the weekend, but in terms of the scoreline, it was yeah. a shock scoreline. Yeah, very, of the very, weekend. very, very shock. Uh, they, they don't usually crumble like that. And uh, they don't, yeah, they just romped home, bro. Yeah. We move on to Arsenal next, obviously. City's closest challenge is every, well, we expect him to be so far this season. Bro, he's comfortable against Bournemouth. What's going on at Bournemouth, man? Let's just quickly. You know, They've been awful. Honestly, the, 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 no, no, Gary O'Neill's gone to Wolves. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, he's is uh, Iraola. Yeah, yeah. Gary O'Neill's been... Arteta's doing... childhood friend, was a battle between the two. Yeah, man, they, they don't look good. He hasn't They're won. a massive candidate for the relegation. You but know, we never mentioned him in our sacking podcast. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Uh, so, hands up to that one, you know. Oh. I think he's, 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 he's facing the axe. We messed up there, didn't we? We did, yeah. But yeah, Saka, man, he, you know, constantly scoring. Odegaard, a goal and assist again. Havertz, I was going to mention. Uh, finally got his first goal. We have goal. his rice, he it? finally got his first goal for Arsenal. Bro, but they do. They don't know. <laughs> it's nice to give him the penalty, man. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Do you remember Van Persie? I mean, I'm really, not comparing him. I swear down, I'm not. I'm just saying, do you remember Van Persie was on that goal throw? Yeah. And he just. The penalties Liverpool, give you. Uh, Stoke. 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 And he went running to Fergie and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, do you know what it is? Um, maybe he might need some. Com no, his confidence. No, seriously, maybe, he might, maybe he might need some confidence in it. I mean, it was 10 games and. Finally got you know his first goal. So do you, you think he's being played in the right position or are Arsenal just trying I just to shoehorn him I into mean, the system? I mean, I said it before the season started. I don't know why they've gone for him. And so they're trying to shoehorn him into the system. Yeah, yeah. I mean he's a good player, but I think Chelsea ruined him, bro. Chelsea ruined a lot of forward slash strikers. Yeah, we said in the last podcast about Timo Werner, right? Well, I mentioned it. Which number nine really is? And Havertz wasn't a number nine, but they tried to make him a number nine. Is my point. I, I think that's kind of affected him. Yeah, no. Generally, strikers there don't do well. And he's not. I don't think he, he was a camera. I think Leverkusen. the last. I think the last great striker there was probably Diego Costa. He was hundred yeah. percent. And he's not spoken about enough, especially yeah. that season under Jose Mourinho. Yeah, oh, he was a man. beast, bro. They they would do anything, oh, yeah. anything to get. What's the, going on with your boy, man? Who? The ginger man in. Um, Which ginger man? In Liverpool. Mr. Mr. Sean Dyche. Oh, why is he my boy? He was, uh, oh yeah. yeah. The thing is, right, I'll be honest with you. In the last podcast, we were taking a bit of piss out of him as well, yeah? And we were being serious. I'm going to give a proper take on him here. I thought Dyche and Everton were a match made in Everton when he got appointed. Obviously, he's been appointed, I would say, at a To very... save them? No. Oh. That's what I mean. So, when oh. he got appointed, I thought he's been appointed under the wrong circumstances, but the club he's got... The, and that he managed to save them, keep him in the Premier League. Had a summer then, so his first summer pre-season. Mm. But it seems to be, it's running through the club. There's a culture at the club. I don't know what's going on Bro, there. Bro, the owners don't turn up. I've said this a few times. And like I said, you see at your club who we're moving on to, and I, I didn't mean to even make this a segue, mm. but when owners are not... Bro, if, if, if you're not owning up to your poor ownership, basically, and you can't front it... and you, The thing is, you know, when... It's crumbling. Yeah, when ownership is poor like that, and they're not looking at... The bro, way, 
the they don't turn up to the wrong. matches. They're scared, scared, of the, yeah, they're, scared. Yeah, they're scared yeah. of the fans, that's why. And we've talked about, the, or spoken about the, the, the toxic atmosphere that's surrounding Everton Football Club at the moment. But like I said, it's stemming from the owners. Mm. They've got new investments of 777 from, uh, I think they're based in Miami as a capital investment group who are looking to buy Everton. They were there at the game in attendance. I don't mm. think they were impressed. Luton, first win of the season. Wow. I'm sure everyone up fine left. Wow. And it was an away You know as what? Well. Massive. Massive. The confidence booster. Not, not, not only because it's their first win, also because it's against the fellow relegation candidates. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And at Goodison as well. Everton, so. yeah. Everton, man, you know, they need to be winning them games. They have to be. Against, have to be. you know, teams like that, they need to be putting three points. They right, on to the tactical way. masterclass that we witnessed in midweek. I thought we were going to see peak Barcelona, now that Sofian Amrabat joined. Bro, forget it, I don't want to say nothing here, after all, after everything I see. Right, you lost in it 1-0. All I can say, yeah, oh, is, again. we'll make it as quick as we can in it. Cause I don't why, know, why go get some reaction? Yeah, give us some bullshit. spice. We need the to get this is, podcast the thing out is, there. Is, I think the thing is with United, yeah, um, they're not playing very well. Palace were happy to let us dominate the ball. They were happy to just sit back. They only created like three chances in 90 minutes. So it's not like Palace was so good. It, it was the fact that United are shit. That makes it worse. That's it does point. make it worse. It does make it worse. I get you. So I yeah. mean, you just said about Amrabat. Amrabat actually had a good game. You know, Hoyland didn't have a bad game. There's certain players, but you know what? At the moment, you know, as much as I love Rashford, man, he's just not making the right. Is there too? St- is there still too much lingering from this past decade at the club? Did the, I have not get it? Enough. I, I personally, I honestly, I don't know what it is. We can go to ownership, we can go, you know, Look, we can start blaming all of that. Right, listen, I, I'm going to say it, yeah, because I keep saying it. Money in the group. still has been invested. You can't, deny the, you can't deny money's been invested. But the thing is, the decision making at this club is poor. Where Ten Hag's to Right blame. down to everything. Ten Hag has his, of course he does, you know. He the has, only reason I'm saying it is because why you get so cute with the flipping Harry Maguire saga, man? You had him out of the door. McTominay would have probably followed. It was perfect. More Deadwoods out. The thing is, I don't think Maguire was accepting the move anyway to, to yeah, West Ham. He, do you know what? Him being at the club is, uh, and players like that who don't perform at Manchester United, they can't handle the pressure. The thing is, being at Manchester United is like a soap opera. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even we, taking the No, no, it is 100%. I'm not, I'm not even no, saying no, that in no, a way. I'm not saying that in a war, war, we're sick. I'm saying it in a way that you don't we're want it to fucked. be. Yeah, I'll tell you what it is, right? We're bad, man. I, I'll compare it to what Bayern Munich were in the early 2000s. And they were named FC Hollywood at the time. Bro, you lot had a reality TV show. They were named FC Hollywood because it's like Hollywood then, if you know what I mean. There's rumours flying around about the players, yeah. leaks, yeah. Uh, you know, d- dressing it's, room listen, unrest. Listen, this is a constant thing for the last... 10 years? It is 10 years since Fergie's since, gone. Since Fergie's gone, probably. And unfortunately, you know... Everything's I still up. got hope in 10 I mean, I'll be real with you. The, the first year after Fergie, that shit came out afterwards. You know, like when Ferdinand, Everett, they all came out about Moise's... Um, Mentality that came out after. Do you get me? Do you think that should have come out at the time? Yeah. All right, but I know we're doing is, a bit of revisionist history and the, the thing podcast. Is, you know, it is with, with the club the size of Manchester United, your shit shouldn't be in the pub. Even though we are always in the public, your shit that's going on that deep should not be in the public. You know, you need to deal with it internally, then get on with it. You know, fair dues with Sancho, Ten Hag maybe shouldn't have. Called it out, but the thing is, he's called out Rashford, he's called out Maguire, Garnacho. he's called out Ronaldo, he's called out Garnacho, he's called out many players. Juan Bissaka wasn't playing when he first came in. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's loads of players that have been called out no, or dropped he, or he whatever. He put the armor on Sancho. We said this on the podcast. Sancho's had everything, and you know what is that club? I don't know what's going on right now, but tenth place is not good. Is Ten Ten Hag feeling a bit of pressure? Do you think? A lot of pressure. We need oh. to win tomorrow night in the Champions oh, yeah. League. No, it's around. Manchester United, man. It's not no small time club. It's Manchester United. You need to Maybe win. Maybe you are a small time club. That's the problem. Maybe we are. We've got the mentality of it. Maybe it's just all of I'm us. Not, listen, I'm not even. Look, I'm not even rattling Subi. I'm just saying. Over the last ten years, you have been. A the small mentality is not right, man. But it's the ownership. It comes down to the ownership. He, look, he knows. Yeah, I'm not taking. Obviously, that's why we're doing the pod here. For just for the viewers, you know, whatever. I'm not taking the piss when I say I genuinely think Manchester United are the biggest commercial club in the world. Mm. But they've been a small club over the past ten years. They're you not need being success used. on the field to maintain your. They're not being structure. They're not being used correctly. They haven't that's been for a long time. They've just been milked that's like the cow is. that they yeah, are. That's moment. what it is, man. So, right. poor, poor. But on to West Ham. 
No, Tony. it's Manchester City, isn't it? Next up, we're doing. Was it Manchester City? No, it's not. It's West Ham. We'll do West Ham. We'll we... do West Ham, then we'll do Newcastle. Yeah. West Ham 2 0. Nice and easy win. You Sheffield. said they man, Sheffield are going They're going, down. aren't they? They're going, bro. They, uh, they it can't could be another derby. It could be another derby. Their right goal difference is disgusting right now. Poor. West Ham, good win, though. Bowen's on form this season, you know. He's, he's, he's been, he's, he's he's been good for. I think last season he kind of dropped a bit. He did drop a bit. He got the so win. did West Ham. Did Bowen go, he got the winner in the Conference League. Yep. Obviously, that's there forever for him now. He yep. cemented his legacy at the club. Oh, yeah, he's massive. Uh, but I did think he dropped a little bit. Obviously, he had the England call up, didn't he? Does, he, he, does he deserve a mm, shot anywhere else? No. Or is he a West Ham I man think, for life? Noble. I think West Ham are is big enough. Mark Noble? Yeah, West Ham are big enough right now as well. But I, well, he was linked with Liverpool a, a year or two ago. Nah, man. Just no? as better than him. They've got better players than him. So. Okay. Wolves 2-1 against Manchester City. Nobody's seen that one coming First though. defeat, first L. And so now there were two. Because <laughs> there were three und- No, sorry, there were four undefeated. Liverpool, Tottenham, uh, Manchester City and Arsenal. They right. were the four undefeated teams and obviously Tottenham beat Liverpool. Yep. So that just left City and Arsenal. And Manchester City lost to Wolves 2-1. So wow. there you are. The Korean guy's gone through. <laughs> Pep, you went and done it again to yourself, bro. Why do you shoot yourself in the foot, man? Do you know what? Making it's comments like that does not look good. It's sick, man. I love that Pep does it, though, man. But the thing is, you know, when you have a club that are getting, you know... Like no, but he really doesn't look good. Yeah, let's be real here, Sophie. Yeah, Pep's just being real. You know? He didn't know who he was. He goes the Korean guy. Obviously, he's going to bite you in the ass if yeah, something like that happens. he could have just said the striker, didn't it? Why did he have to, like... We did it last year or the year before. Like I was mentioning to you just before we jumped uh, onto the podcast. Uh, when he, he mentioned Spurs and he goes, oh, yeah, Harry Kane plus 10. They went and lost at Spurs then as well. He's doing it to Eula this season, so you never know. Next game against Eula, Tenag might ever be in his bunny. And when he got asked, I'll just we always, mention you it. You know what? Funnily enough, we always tend to beat City at some point. Yeah, do you know what it is? I it think happens. A derby is a derby, man. Going back to like the Pep thing, yeah, like yeah. him and his press conferences, he's comfortable in his own skin. That's why he is what he is, oh, if you know on. what I mean. He's one of the greatest. No, but what I mean is he's comfortable then in front of the media. He don't feel that pressure from a yeah, question yeah, this time. Yeah. He'll just say what he wants, when he wants. He'll oh, have a laugh with them sometimes. The, go- the goats never do. That's what I'm saying. He'll have the a laugh sometimes. You've seen him go into some conferences yeah. and he's giving next BS answers just for a laugh. Well, man. Pedro, can we speak about Pedro Neto, man? Top player, man. Wow. No, he's finally come on, He I say. ripped them up, man. Ake didn't know where he was. He was like, yo, where is he kind of, yo? What the hell he couldn't... He just wanted to get off the pitch as soon as Honestly, possible. Honestly, man... He, Pedro the way he, sick. Oh, he needs wicked. to move, move to a City team or Spurs, Liverpool, someone like that. He's that good. I think United should take him. Take, get it done. Anthony. Put him on the right wing. Wow. Fair shout. Good shout. Wow. Very, very good shout. That. Wow. But and we'll never do it because we're shit and incompetent. On to the game of Newcastle. the weekend. Newcastle, no. All right, all right. Missed missed okay. Missed oh, God, there, God. Just Newcastle. before, right. So we just got our scoreboard behind the, the camera, obviously, just to keep it going. So, 2-0. Winners, against, nice and easy against Burnley. It's not up. It's good, but it? Almir on top goal. It's not happening for company though, is it? He hasn't changed his style of play, like we said, and uh, now I think he's getting sucked. They did have a couple of chances in that game. But they do that every game, so they're getting a couple of chances. What's the point, bro? You're going to lose in the end. Just show up, shop. But Almiron's goal, man, the way he cuts in. Shout out, in shout out to Miguel Almiron. Wow. Yeah. Bear he's what Anthony dreams to be, man. <laughs> Honestly, man. The guy's work After ethic, Jack Grealish his shit, attitude. Boy, he's about you know what I mean? Yeah, he's be t- ten times better than Grealish as well, man. You can't bear rubbish you about him, man. But the way the guy plays, man, so much passion, so much determination. And you know what? I didn't even know his um, ethnicity. Paraguayan. Paraguayan. I didn't even yeah, know. His nationality. Someone, someone uh, mentioned it recently. I don't know who mentioned it. I didn't know it. that he's like, South American. He came from No, I know he's MLS. South American. Atlantic. But I thought he was from. like Mexican or something, Spanish. You know what I mean? Paraguay is more or less the same. In and the I, way, know, like. I know Spanish isn't South American before anyone calls yeah, they, me They're going to try to be clever in yeah, it. Yeah, they can, they can, can they On well, to the what? game of the weekend. Yeah, let's go for it, bro. One. Let's go for it. They got robbed. Spurs 2, Liverpool 1. <laughs> well, you got gas, I don't give a fuck if they got robbed, mate. They got <laughs> robbed. Fair dues. You know what? They should have got a draw out of it, but you know. No, 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 we'll talk about the main talking point, right? The refereeing this season has got to be The refereeing has been poor, man. From VAR, Look, from yeah, the so on-field. whether it's Liverpool or not, all biased aside from yeah, both yeah, of us, yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah. man. You cannot... That was shocking, bro, that they've admitted that the goal is onside, but they don't admit it yeah. to the on-field ref. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, I don't understand because there's been so many calls in this season and last season. For example, the Brentford one against um, Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. the camera oh, wasn't there or something. Or I couldn't catch the angle. Or God knows no, what man. You've got so much millions, billions going into this That's sport, what it is. It's a money-making And scheme. you can't even get a, 
a Kamla right. You can't they told get those, that right. They told those right. Wow, when it was Awful, introduced, man. it's going to be like Hawkeye in cricket it's bullshit. and, and it's ruined tennis. It. it has ruined it's it. Ruined it. Right? It's made football worse. I'll it's, be real with you. It's made it worse. All our teams have had decisions in favour of it, you know, and big ones yeah, and yeah. against it. Like massive ones. Uh, United, for example, PSG away, uh, King, uh, Kim Pembe handball. That was massive for us. They got yeah, us through, yeah, yeah. we got knocked out in the next round. No, but... It, it, Don't get me wrong, sometimes it does help, but... Bro, majority of the time, they seem to be fucking up. Badly, man. Really bad. Badly. What gets me is, it's supposed to be the computer that's making the decision at the end. It's still a bloody human that, that picks make, it off that, the computer. That, that makes yeah. the final decision. So all so in all, it's the same, it's the same thing. It's, it's not VAR. All it is, is, it's just a guy looking over the team. And how can, you, how can the computer make a mistake on the offside? When you play FIFA, for example, right? Yeah. I don't know if anyone's going to understand what I'm trying to say here, but you know what I mean in this yeah. room. When you play FIFA, there's never, ever, ever, ever a 0.01% chance of an offside being wrong because yeah. they've got they've started the thing out in the yeah, lines like, within the software and on the or computer. Off. On or off. Right? Boom. The AI is right. Yeah. And that's been there forever. How can they not get it right in professional football? It's bullshit. They come up with stupid excuses. They I try don't to. Uh, uh, do you know what they do? When, uh, when they want to make more money, they'll just put more and more arguments up that are. Futile and useless that. Do you know what it is? Fry your brain, bro, that you don't understand. It's a, it's a load of bullshit. VAR needs to go, man. I'll be dealing with you, It's man. not doing anything to support the game. It's, do, it's just to the detriment There's of the game. There's been so many calls, man. Way too many since it's you been know? on. But did, you know what? Other than that, Liverpool gave them a good performance. Cons they should have got a sending off. So that was VAR you know fucked up again. Con considering they had nine men, they did well. Right? So VAR they effed up well. again there. Yeah. You know, that they, Curtis Jones got sent off. Yeah. And the ball continues. So, did, did, I didn't expect Spurs to win. You know so what? And um, I don't think, I think it was a, a draw. That was the fair no, result I in think, the end. Do you know what it is? Do you know, even when you've got the home crowd behind you, there's always that chance of the home team winning. Because it's against anyone. You know, well, the it seems like they're doing it a lot this season. So uh, grinding no, to they've the had end. a very good start. They're unbeaten. They're second in the Premier League. You know, they're not doing anything wrong. You know, the mad thing is. Them and Arsenal are the only two undefeated teams remaining. And they got bang on They've got the exact same uh, mm. wins, draws, and the exact same goal difference. I don't know about goals scored and conceded, but I'm assuming it's probably similar anyway. And Ball is uh, obviously going to finish in Europe, no doubt. No doubt they're finishing in the top eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No doubt this yeah, season, yeah. right? They'll, they'll come top eight. Top five? Pushing it? Hard to say, yeah, man. You know, because I've got so much faith in my own club, despite the shit show. Obviously, yeah. I'm still going to back my team for fifth, mate. Do you get me? Yeah, why not? Yeah, So, I, and I can't put Spurs ahead of Liverpool, Arsenal and City, bro. Actually, no, that still leaves another spot, so... Bloody maybe it is them. Newcastle's there with them, maybe Chelsea. Them. Yeah, Newcastle. If Chelsea can do something, I don't know. Hakpo again, man, he's been good for Liverpool since he's yeah. joined. Yeah, good, yeah, 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 he's done well. But Sonaldo, Sonaldo's back here yeah, this season. He's back. Sonaldo? I think, you know what, without uh, Kane... I think he's gonna, I, I've said it last time, he's taking the mantle, isn't it? He's right. taking the mantle, he's going to carry on scoring. Again, maybe another hot take for this podcast for people to take. Go on. Spurs are a better team without Harry Kane. That's my take on my verdict. I'll tell you why. If he was still there, Andrew would still base a lot of the tactics around him because of who he is, the personality and what he is at the club. Mm. Him going has allowed the rest of them to shine, take on yeah. more responsibility and is showing now more as a club. They're not looking to anyone. playing more as a team. That's what it is. They're yeah. not, and they're not looking to someone on the pitch when they're struggling. They're looking to each other, if you know what I mean. And for each other. Like I said, that Matip on goal, I don't know if it's a reflection of what Andrew's doing there. Another late goal. Good finish, and what though. I mean by... Ha! <laughs> sick finish. I liked it. I'll Did tell you the it? best on goal. Do you, Alice, do you see Alisson's reaction? Listen, I'm not taking piss eh? out. Do you see his reaction? It's like... Fucker, he's like, I'm not taking all like. Did you see them two saves he pulled? So off? I'm not taking no piss out, no own goal. No, no, but them two saves he pulled. Have you seen the Ventus is on goal this wow. week? No, that's why I said I'm not taking piss out, no own goal this week. Onto Forest. If for the record, if you anyone who knows have a good laugh, go check out Filippo Gatti's own goal. No look, pass into the back of the net. Beautiful. The keeper was. Oh, I can't even believe this. So basically, yeah, just say he's the goal, right? The keeper passed him from here, so the goal's empty. But the keeper's passing it from there. Gatti was there in centre back, so already it's a mistake passing across the back line. Gatti thought he'd be clever doing a first time pass back to who? Yadinia, empty net. So the keeper's still there, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And Gatti goes, yeah, I'll be clever. Doing a first, time pass. Idiot. first time finish in the bomb corner. It didn't look, did it? And we'll finish with, uh, well, no, second last game. Forest, bro. 
They're doing it again, man, and I think they're going to stay up again. They'll stay up. Yeah, man, he's got someone going there, Steve Cooper, Cooper. Yeah, 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 you're right. Cooper's, they were uh, Cooper's that guy. And uh, Brentford, you know what? Without Ivan they, Toner... They look, they look poor, That's man. what it is. Without Ivan Toner, they're they looking look poor. poor. And they need him back. You know what? Thomas need Frank needs to pull some new ideas out, mate. Possibly. I like him way more. I think he's, he's a good, good. I think he's a good player. They are staying up this season, but they're going to have a struggle. No, God. He's all right. I tell mm. you who hasn't done good for him is the one that they bought for him, uh, Sampdoria, Mikel Damsgaard. I thought he I was. I thought good. he'd light it up after that. Bro, the Euros. Uh, after the Euros, yeah. After the Euros. I thought he was going to kill it, Me man. and you were raving about him. Poor. I haven't really seen him. I don't know what's happened. He had sick happened. technique. He was good at some dodge as well. Happens, didn't he? No, that happens a lot, doesn't it? Youngsters come on the scene, they'll flash a, a few skills, they look really good. Tournaments look, do that, innit? Not even tournaments, even for clubs, they'll come in, they look wicked. Yanazai, I mean, he's having a decent career. At, um, Federico Makeda. Proper oh, streets will never forget, me. Proper streets. For United, that's a street. Oh, massive, yeah, massive, massive, massive. Oh, that goal was sick. It's one of the greatest Premier League goals. Two, um, the touch and then... Two... two I think he's got two winners for those. Oh, bro, the second one was crap. Don't no, even but that one. I'm, no, I'm just saying. Not like Tevez is nanny. How important they were in oh, that yeah, time. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. So Brentford do need to pull their socks up, but they're going to stay up. Forest are going to stay up. Good, good game. Uh, and we'll finish with... Mikhailo Mudrik. He's done it, bro. He's done it. Mubarak. Go on, Mubarak. 24 Tuki. appearances in. He gets his first goal for Chelsea. Wow. Is he going to uh, knock on or kick on? Is, is the Ukrainian name I find he going to appear? In. I mean, to be honest with you, it depends as the team. It depends on the team. If the team are cohesive and they're going to play well, is he the guy though? Or is that struggle? I think from what we've seen, the odd. I don't think he's flashes. the guy. If you know what I mean. No, not the guy, but there is a player in there. Yeah, hundred percent. There's a player. In good there. winger in you there. You don't pay hundred million for no. no I mean, you do sometimes. Sometimes you do if you're United. Bro, no, pay, no. Even if you, you even if you're Todd Volley, you're spending a billion and shit. But, <laughs> but um, no. Uh, massive for them, massive for him. 2 0 win away to Fulham. Uh, Fulham look disgusting, by the way. 13th place at the moment. All season, man. Uh, the one, Mitrovic saga. Mitrovic going. Kalinia you know, didn't leave in the end. He got injured uh, near the end just, of the season. It's just weird, man, the way they've turned out this year. They, they don't look good at all. They were but again, solid last year. There's so much weak teams. Yes or no? Was my point right? I'm not so when you go down the list, you're about seven, eight weak teams, man. Yeah, but, they look weaker now. I think there's going to be a big relegation. Bro, hey, man, about time we got a chance. You know, why are Chelsea always talking about strikers? I always said this guy, especially when it's at Southampton, Armando Baroch is a guy, man. He's I, a top striker, so. I, I, I wouldn't say top. Bro, what's wrong with him when he was I'd at Southampton? He was, he was good at Southampton. He needs to develop. I th- I'm sure he got 10 Premier League goals at Southampton in this season. That's good, bro, a team I, like that. I, I don't know about that. I'm going no, check, quick, have to, quick I'm check, have to pull you up on that. Pull me I'm not saying it's fact or gospel. I no, because uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm not that impressed with him because I don't remember him scoring a lot. I of remember games. him scoring a few, yeah? A few. Right, so he's 22. Just turned 22 in September. So he's fairly young. At Southampton, he scored, he scored six Premier League goals in 32 appearances. I scored off. He scored nine in 38 all in all. Yeah, there, there you are. So, so one, one, in goal f- off. one in four and a bit. But he was a 19 at the time. It's all right. It was yeah. his performances as well though. I remember, I'm telling you, Baraka should have had a chance at Chelsea. No, but when Chelsea. you say top, like, he's top. I'm, no, but I'm thinking like, oh, I, I, I get you. Now, but I'm thinking Greenwood. Yeah, yeah I get you, I get you. you, I get I mean? you. I'm thinking even, you're going to laugh at this, but when he came in, Martial, 17 goals, home. I'm thinking that type of level. If you're saying top to start. We've seen his top. Yeah, he's shit. Yeah, 90 yeah, goals in nine seasons, man. Yeah, <laughs> seen that top, man. When left will finish, you got your right fans. Con man, Anthony I didn't Martial. say shit, man. No, you, you know how I'm I talking about. Yeah, con man, Anthony But yeah, Martial. man. Uh, Chelsea. You know what? Another thing I had right there just to talk about con man and that. That's why Rashford was playing good. Last season, he just wanted a new contract. I don't know. I feel like he's a purple patch player now. Contract player, isn't it? God knows, man. God knows. He needs to just... He's he not elite to, level. He needs to fix up his... Di- no, he's not elite. He needs to fix he's up... He's got time to reach the elite level still. To be honest with you, the funny thing is, Xavi came out with... Um, I don't know if you've seen it, where he goes, oh, there's only two elite players that we fear. I, don't, if, I didn't even read about the second one, so don't ask me who the second one is. All I can tell you is, Xavi goes, Barca... Fear Rashford. Fear Rashford. Go on, Marcus. That's all I'm saying. Marcus, he man. ripped him up. You know what? We'll end it on this, yeah? This is, a fun, this is a point I'm going to make to you, yeah? Do you know, since we actually dealt with Barca in the Europa League... Gone downhill. We've not been playing that well. Gone downhill. Since then. It's Fair literally as, as back as March, bro, if you deep it. We struggled towards the end of last season. We just about got over the line no, with no, Liverpool did, and Newcastle and all that shit. And remember when I said... You're right, and I said to you that Barcelona win is more detrimental than it was good to you. 
Yeah, was I even said that at the time? But I was happy to. You know, that's, deal with but, that's the thing. They've dealt with us in you know final. Obviously, but I think ah, I don't know. You know, you're right. One good point. It, it, he'd and that's Ten Hag's mentality in the end because he had a chance to fight for on all four fronts. I think this. I think this season he just needs to focus on getting as far as we can. I'm not saying we can win the Champions League. But getting as far as we can in the Champions League, getting out of the group stage, finishing in Champions League spots, and in the league. finishing in the Champions League spots. That's our season. And it's, uh, you can still say have a little run at a cup. Of course, you can FA Cup, Carling Cup, but we're not going to win the Champions League, and we're definitely not. not we're League. definitely not going to win the Premier. League. No chance of the Premier mm. League as well, to be honest. Mm. So there you are. Week seven reviews done. A lot more uh, content coming. We got the barbershop debates starting very very soon. Um, and whatever else just keep your eyes peeled like, on the channel like, share, share subscribe. comment, subscribe you know what to do thank you very much <laughs>